Good afternoon, everybody. I'm doing an art project today, and I'm painting up some clothespins. And I'm going to show you the first step. And I have got a bunch painted up here. And I'm going to show you one, what I'm doing in my paints. And I will bring you back and continue to show you in my steps. So hold on. It wasn't running, but I painted a blue one. So now that I know it's running, let's try it again. I was saying everything came from the Dollar Tree store unless my phone shut off, my brush, my clothespins, this little egg thing that you look, you can put beads, you can do, I use it for all sorts of stuff. I, and I got a few Martha Stewart colors. This is like a watermelon color and I really like this. So what I do is I open up the clothespin and I just dab. I just dab some paint on, just like that. This time I'm gonna watch to make sure my camera's running. I was just jibber jabbering away. I don't know if you got the part where I went to go change my water and Maggie Mae decided to pull down the paper off the table. So she's currently in her crate taking a nap. Whoa, taking a nap right now. That's the first one out of 30 clothespins that I've dropped. Hey, but that's okay, it's all good. We're doing it in fun. You can do this with your kids, your grandkids, your mother, your grandmother, your father, your aunt, your uncle. It's just a great little craft. See, and then I've got, once this dries, I'm gonna go back in and I'm going to paint that side. And what I do is I dip my brush in water, swish it around, like I said, this brush came from Dollar Tree, this cup came from Dollar Tree, and the clothespins came from Dollar Tree. So I'm not sure what recorded and what didn't, but I'll just tell you again. And as you all know, whoops, drop that. As you all know, green's my favorite color, and I've got to paint more anyways. So we'll just chit chat for a minute while I do the green. Just stick it right in. Just like that. Just paint it up just like that. Paint the sides. You can only do one side at a time because you got to work it. And you got to work it. Yes, you do. Just paint it all around. Just like that. And I'm going to set that one right there. And I'm gonna paint this little bit right here. There you go. And then I'm gonna paint a second coat, and bring you back and show you what it's all about. Oh, I've got this towel here, I'm using as an apron because I don't wanna get my clothes wet. Okay, folks, I'm gonna show you my craft project that I'm working on. Maggie, no, Maggie's biting my feet. Um, what I've got done, and I'm going to show you the next step, and then the third step will be all done. And all I got to do is put it in something pretty and show you. And I got to go. I'm sorry. Maggie Mae's pulling my foot. Okay, catch in a little bit. Okay, got Maggie situated. Um, I'm going to start this all over again. I'm going to show you the next step to the clothespin. So here we go. I'm going to put you down. And this is everything I've got done so far with these ones. Aren't they pretty? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a paint marker. And this was purchased in a hardware store. And all you're gonna do is take it off and we're just going to sporadically put dots just like that. How cute is that? How quick is that? And it, this dries really, really, really quick. Just do your own style. Don't worry about anybody else's. Because this is your creativity. You created this. 
I kind of like this, I don't know, maroony, purpley color with the white dots. But as you well know, this could be a trivia question somewhere down the road. I like green. I really like green. Okay. Now that we've got that done, I am going to show you, I wanna move it out of the way, right here. Now, I would take my glue gun, but I'm not going to at this point, but I'm gonna show you what they look like. Because if I get my glue gun and Maggie Mae's up, we're gonna have one heck of a time. So, we are going to stick these cute little things on these little bunny rabbits and I've got these rabbits and I've got these Easter eggs how cute is that and I bought these and I already made two for my mom in blue clothespins and blue owls because that's her favorite and I saw her today so I took it down to her so I'm just going to give you an idea this is going to have to be, um, it's got some sticky stuff on the back, but this is going to have to be uh, uh, super glue. But I cannot do it right now with, with Miss Maggie May. Let me turn this around. And let's see, where are we going to put this one? Let's put it right here. Now, nah, let's put it up like this because that way you can still use it. Now, you can use it like this or you can still put a little magnet on the back. But how cute, how cute is that to give a little gift? And they can put little notes on it. I'm just going to take a few different ones here. We got the green. Whoops. Oh, this one's a peel, but that's okay. And again, when Maggie settles down tonight or later today, I will, geez, I'm not doing very good on these, am I? This is a peel back. Wow, it's really sticky. There, wowza. That one was a hard one now, wasn't it? Show you here. Which way we want the egg, that way or that way? I think we want it this way. And I think we want it, oh, we can put it about right there. Now look at that, how cute is that? And let's do a rabbit. We'll do a blue rabbit and a pink rabbit. Oh, some more sticky stuff. Maybe we can get this off easy. I don't have much nails either. Whoops, this one seems to be peeling off fairly well. So are you doing any Easter crafts right now? And if so, what are you doing? Okay, I'm gonna turn this around like this so you can see. And I think I'll put this guy right here. Now, how cute is that? Really, how cute is that? And we'll do one more. We'll do it in pink. And like I said, I'll get these all done and then I'll put them out real pretty and um, display them out for you. Yeah. These stick kind of hard. And we'll take a pretty pink one. Now see, this pink one was damaged, but I said, oh, I, we can still use it. I mean, we gotta use everything we got. And look, they close. These clothespins are from the Dollar, store, Dollar Tree. Right about there. Clothespins are from the Dollar Tree and all these little felts are from the Dollar Tree. So here you have it, right here I wanna show you. That's my craft. Just like this. 
And how easy is that? And I'll get them all done and show you. And that's how you do it. So everybody, please give me a thumbs up. Share this video out. If you're not subscribed, just hit that bell. I'd love to have you. I do a little bit of everything on my uh, channel. My name is Brenda, and you never know what I'm going to be doing. Have a great day. God bless. I'm going to stick a picture in. Okay, here's the end and results right here. And everything was from the Dollar Tree. The felt rabbits, the clothespins, the pins. And the only thing is, is the white polka dots. I bought a paint marker at the hardware store. Everything else was at the Dollar Tree. Isn't this cute? And you just open it up and you put whatever you want. Or you can put a magnet on the back if you choose to. So I hope you like my little craft that I made and it's something that can be used all year round. Okay, have a great day. Share out my video. You never know what's gonna be on my videos. God bless and we will see you tomorrow. Bye now.